Hello everybody, this is the next episode of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. On this episode, we're most likely just going to go through the home world, see what's going on, and pick our next world. It's Bianca. Okay, Dragon, you've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm... Yeah. Come on, don't be stingy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this with a thin comb. Now, I like the second world. I think it has a lot more interesting levels in it. Some levels are very irritating, but some are very fun. 14 lives. Will we get to 50 lives by the end? God only knows. Some of this shit gets crazy. Okay. Dave. Hello, Dave. That reference is older than I am, I think. Hey, Spyro. Spit. Let's see if this works. Oh, well, I gotta aim. Look at me, Dad. I got a no scope. I'll see you in there later. Yeah, foreshadowing. Another skateboarding event. Which I don't mind this one. This game does have a good level of progression, which I do enjoy. However, some of the challenges are too to be desired. Oh, what? You bitch. Bam! You thought you were going to turn? Trixie! Make it uglier. Probably after this episode will be the Molten Crater cleanup. Might as well not have it too long. Oh, look, another life. I might actually start using certain cheats like color cheats. You know, just to spruce some things up. I don't see any problem. It's not like it gives you a different advantage. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. Yep. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. No, I kind of don't. Bird, James Bird. Sergeant Bird. 068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, 
Where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox foe. Cheerio! We'll get to his letter, lead level later. I always love it. Moneybags just gets his comeuffins so many times in this damn game. We'll go there later. As soon as we're done with the cleanup. Oh, spoiler warning. That's probably going to be where we're heading next. Did a gem leap over the water? Or? When you see a ladder or walls that look yes, yes, don't lecture me. I played Ripto. This is rage. And you can find it on my channel. Insert plug here. Okay. This is a better place if you really want to farm lives, but there's no point. I love it. That extra reach is awesome. Hi, Spyro. This is a super flame. Oh, nice. Bam. Matt. Modesty. That's a real crappy name. It's the modesty. Modesty. I get it. Wow, that took a while for you, Ron. Okay. Yeah, later. I know we'll get the gem trick thingy probably in the third world, I thought it was. Move! Come on, Spyro! Mingus. Mingus. Mm. Not done here yet.
Oh, nice. Another life. Oh, in there. I know what I gotta do. Bing a bada bang a boom. Okay, we're done here. Tune in the next episode, we'll redo Sergeant Bird's base. Tune in next time for Spire 3, Year of the Dragon. Have fun, everybody.